Greetings and salutations, everyone. I'm Ekamak, this is Let's Play Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of the Sky. In last episode, we did a little bit of um, offside grinding. In this episode, we actually have something we could do to try and muscle our way to a gold rank because uh, S star is going to be difficult, but 300 out of 465, that's a lot, so. Thought process. The thought process is we have so many silver gummies we really need to get someone steel typing so we can get rid of them. The cross-eyed seed. The decoy orb. I want this. And, um... Faux Hold Orb, plus a Petrify Orb. I also gave myself the Aerial Ace TM, because while I intend to use it not on screen, or rather not off screen, so here's the question, what do we want to get rid of, because we only have four moves. Smokescreen is good for bosses. Flamethrower can do what Ember does, but it has less PP. I feel like Ember is what we want to get rid of, because I'm tired of missing attacks. And since we're going back to the Sandstorm Desert, we're filled with Sandshrew and other Pokemon with Sandveil, we're going to need it. Of course, I'm pretty sure that Stream is going to get booted out of the party immediately. Uh, because I think that the escort is going to take up the one of the slots. So, Grass Gummy. Buddy. Self cure, nice. You know what would be great? If this were a miracle drink, to make up for how much less gummy drink that I've been getting compared with Ace. Something written on the bottom of the glass you just drained? Woohoo! It's a secret exploration spot that now only you know about, nobody else. Okay, this is cool. You can now go to the Lush Prairie. We'll do that some other day, I guess. But yeah, we need to pull Serena out of the party. As much as I'd like to get her experience. Can you call me a Commendace? Hello there, welcome to Chancho Assembly. Serena will be taken off the active team roster for rest. So, we're going to be tackling two very difficult missions at the same time. At least we should be. It helps to take the actual jobs. So yeah, we're going to be taking an escort mission and a monster house, uh, a monster house boss. The Monster House Outlaw, so we've got a lot of trouble ahead of us. Uh, 
Only two Reviver Seeds, too. The decoy orb is if the boss starts too close to us. Because then I'll be able to use that to turn them into bait for all the enemies to beat on. Your client sentry joined the team. You need to learn to stop using Mud Slap on Pokemon with Levitate. Anyway, uh, I need to switch off Go the other way now. This feels awfully familiar to Valkyra Chronicles 2 escort missions where they reduced the, they've reduced the size of the party so I can't have a full setup anymore. Oh man, Aerial Ace is actually very low PP, I forgot about that. No leveling, just rush for the exit. I have one escape orb if we get into trouble. This is full of uh, combo attacks and ranged attacks. This is actually kind of terrible. Jack. Like Cactus Jack or Cactus Jake or whichever. You get out of here. I mean, he's not even evolved yet. He wouldn't be able to eat through our supply of black gummies. back off because I have my client right behind me. I hate that. I feel like when I get a second miss in a row and it's not a female Pokemon, then it's just the RNG being spiteful. Speaking of spiteful, Is level 11. We really can't mess about. And I bet you, if we actually did recruit him because he was part of a question mark, question mark, question mark award, they'd immediately turn him down to level 1, even though we've proven that he's high enough level that he can almost survive it. I suppose it's better than the escort missions of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Vanilla because I'm pretty sure those were also level 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So yeah, ten turns, three damage. That's the number I need to plug into calculations for um, later. Oh hey, a lavatar. Someone to eat through ground and rock gummies. And I will say no more on the subject. Well, that's a really cheeky move. Enough with the silver gummies, we don't need them! I was going an extra bit of time so we could heal up a bit more, completely turned against us. Okay, that's probably enough time burnt. Hang on. Power? Five stars. Power? Four stars. Is type effective and yet Scratch feels like it deals more damage to these guys than Aerial Ace does. Maybe I'm just used to... You know what it is? I bet it's because I'm used to spamming Ember instead. What I would really like is um, a tactic that says cover the rear, which puts that Pokemon at the back of the line so that Pokemon can't sneak up on us and... For example, what if a Cacnea came up from behind and used Pin Missile on our Sandshrew client? We would be screwed, because we'd be unable to get him in. I wouldn't be able to get to the back fast enough to protect him. And we wouldn't be able to get out of the corridor fast enough to get him out of the way of the attack. So either way, we'd be fated to fail the mission. On the upside, because he's a ground type, he doesn't care about these sandstorms. So his lower than the rest of the party health isn't going to get him cut to death by the sand. Is 
I think we've reached the point where everyone is just in the early 50s so that I can't one-shot them. Which probably means that we need more gummies. That feels like a bit of an unfortunate part that you're always just slightly behind the curve. So 64 My health is in tatters We don't have a lot of orange berries So we've still got a long way to go. Oh good, you're not sticking the whole way. Unfortunately, it does mean that if we go straight to the point past the quicksand desert, then... Hmm. Yeah, our special attack is way better than our physical attack. Here we go. I've actually heard that there's a strategy to just throw the grimy food at your enemy and let the ailment that it inflicts on them do the work for you. You've fallen into my trap. Okay everyone, go after the foes. That pressure is going to be a problem though. First the win. I despise that fury swipe, so I can say that much.
Now back to standard. If the enemies do get to move, then they do sting a little bit. It can't be not denied of that. Vesta Queen in for a re Okay, so you can't wander through the dungeon itself to get to the, back to the point. You have to go there directly. This is the bounty on this outlaw's head. I mean, 4,000 poke is a lot, leading to 400 poke reward being kind of decent. We don't need more Petra Scarves. Thank you. Please accept this 4,000 poke. Show my thanks, I want you to have my special band. Let's be fair, I wouldn't want to have gone into there without a full party anyway. It's just that sometimes it gives you the option of going, okay, you can go straight, you can go through the dun first dungeon and then tackle it again and then it go to the new area from there which is handy for when you want to do a little bit more grinding. Up and Adam, it's morning! Good morning, Ekam. I'm sorry, we are considering possible places where time gears are. They are... yeah, 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 yeah. We know this song and dance. If anything, I should probably clear the new dungeon specifically so we can go back to having a quick start up each morning as opposed to this one of Dustmar going, I'm sorry, I'm a failure as a Pokemon being. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're at 165? So, what... What jobs do we have? Oh, oh, we could entirely go back to the, we could entirely go back to the northern desert yet again, because those give out 90 points, and that would definitely push us to gold rank. <coughs> oh, that is tempting, that is very tempting. Anyway, before we log off, we're at about five minutes left, so I can see potential. Ding ding. So it struck me that I haven't shown the Marowak Dojo. Of course, it, showing it off means that we want to throw everything into storage, even the things that we normally use. Downside is that we don't have enough room in storage for everything. Hmm. 
Hmm. Quick, 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 Waha! It's revealed that we have Hapini Jew. Quick, 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 quick. Waha! A Weavile Claw. Quick, 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 quick. Waha! It's a Jiggly card. Quick, 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 quick. Waha! An Orange Gummy. Quick, 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 quick. Waha! It's revealed we have a croco thing. Quick, 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 quick. Waha! Max Elixir. Did the usual busy work, you know how it is. Oh, but uh. Whenever you visit the Marowak Dojo, it resets daily things, so it's possible that we might get a chance at Blizzard TM. I was just checking. Entirely possible that Blizzard might show up in the shops. Hold on to all my money, thanks. We're going to recycle the. We're going to recycle all that grimy food. Do you hear the happy news? Why not? Project P made a new discovery. This time, treasure was discovered, so we're offering better items. Keep recycling. We could get a defense scarf if we wanted to. I think that this is the one stat boost item that you can't get from Wigglytuff from joining the guild, so that's handy to know. We have enough escape orbs, I'd say. That recycle comes with this prize ticket. Let's redeem it. Yellow! Is it win? Is it not? Consolation prize. I mean, a scanner orb isn't that bad. Cleanse orb to get rid of the grimy food. And then a silver ticket to burn off inventory slots. We need to do something about those silver gummies, they've become an actual problem. Yellow! Another escape orb, of course. Last silver ticket, I promise. And we had bad luck today. Anyway, with all that done, we did actually manage to kill those last five minutes, so... Until next time, guys. Take care. I'll see you all around.
Take everything. 